try to do it with a lap or two or something. Oh, okay. Here we go from Yusuf. Hello. When I am trying to sing on cry mode, I feel like I am straining. Not much. Not much, but it feels like that, and my throat feels like it's tightening. Okay? I watch cry mode videos for two to three times. I feel like I am doing something wrong. What it? What might it be? I know I am not giving much specifics, but I really don't know what else to say. That's what I just said. He doesn't know. He's confused. Doesn't know what else to say. Maybe I can also say that whenever I try to sing or make warm-ups on cry mode, after that, my voice kind of sounds like vocal fry. The creaking vocal fry sound comes to my speech without doing anything. Thanks. All right. Translation. Robert, I've been training and conscious of working on the vocal cry, physical vocal mode that you are teaching in the course and in the book and that you keep talking about that you believe is a big deal, all right? It's something that TBS students get into, working on, on, on training and, and singing with cry, okay? It's something we do. And he's just simply saying, when I do it, I... I feel a little bit of, you know, a little bit of resistance, a little bit of, a little bit of tension, maybe, 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 but I'm, I'm suspicious. Maybe some fatigue. It's possible if you're a beginner, for sure. But oftentimes, you students out there and teachers, when students say, "Oh, I, I feel like it's fatigued. I feel like it's cracking," and that, that all that really means most of the time is. I'm a beginner, I'm new, I'm moving the muscles around, I'm creating resistance, I'm getting muscles to contract in new ways, and it's all perfectly, perfectly healthy and fine. But like going to the gym for the first time, when it's new, you sort of feel it burn. You know, the muscles wake up. That's something that happens with beginners. So, so we always keep that in the back of our minds as voice coaches. When your beginning student comes to you and says, oh, I think I, I, think I feel pain. Okay, well, Right there, well, you think you feel pain? I mean, when you feel pain, you're not thinking it, you know it, All right? So it's like, okay, you don't really feel pain. You might ask the student, okay, okay, you just said pain, that's concerning. Do you really feel pain or are you just feeling a contraction, some resistance, maybe a little scratchy vibe or something? And then the students always go, oh, no, no it's not real pain. What I meant was a little bit of fatigue, that sort of thing. So you want to clarify that. But back to Yusuf, he's just basically saying, I've been practicing vocal cry mode and I'm getting a little bit of resistance and maybe a little bit of fatigue. All right, Yusuf, Yusuf. Great, I'm glad that you're practicing vocal cry mode. I'm glad that you're going through the steps of exploring it and discovering it. And um, by actually doing it, you're going to um, be engaging in kinesthetics. Vocal training involves a lot of kinesthetics. Kinesthetics is, just sort of, I'm oversimplifying, but it just sort of means to learn by doing it. Okay, learn by doing it. That's kinesthetics. And we have to do that um, in vocal training. We have to move the articulators and the muscles and go into cry mode and, and strengthen the TA musculature and bridge the passaggio and feel the vowel modification and resonance shifting and all these things we've got to fill all these things and they're all fairly exotic all right but when you do it over and over and over and over again through repetition just like anything else just like dancing playing tennis skiing whatever whatever the case may be it begins to become common all right and your body begins to learn how to do it on on command all right almost unconsciously right so i don't think there's a whole lot to use this question here other than I've been working on cry mode, and I want to compliment him for that, and I'm getting a little bit of resistance. All right, what I would do is, if you're really on cry mode, all right, and you feel like you're getting a little bit of resistance, one of the best things you can do to stop, to, 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 to make the resistance or a little bit of fatigue go away when you're working on cry mode, when you're sort of consciously thinking about it I think the best thing to do the first thing to do is to do it more okay thin out even more and, and I know this through 
firsthand for myself and my students when you're training. So you're, you're doing the warm ups, you're doing the workouts, or you're singing, you're conscious of uh, crying, crying into the note, so that you're thinning out the vocal folds, you're getting your medial compression, you're removing the pharyngeal constriction. You're, 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 you're a good student at this point because you're conscious of all this and you're working on it. You're on the path of success. Don't stop. All right? Now, along the way on that path of success, the body's going to go, hey, you sure you want to do this? Hey, I'm a little confused. Hey, I'm going to push back on you. All right? The body's going to push back and pinch and choke maybe a few times. That's totally normal. You just keep going. And one of the best things you can do is just go, Just cry harder. <laughs> um, I could go into all kinds of other more complex solutions that would that, that probably would help. But the first thing that I would do, the first good piece of advice would be just rely on the technique and engage it more. If you're in cry mode and you're feeling resistance, okay, you're feeling resistance, then. Um, then, then you're not doing it well enough. You're not, you're not doing it enough. And that's it. And I'm going to turn this guy off real quick. Hang on, guys. Okay, good. All right? Okay. Good. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, pretty simple question.